Today's lecture is going to be short. It's about um, a few reporting guidelines that I'd like for you to keep in mind whenever you're taking pictures of an event or something I've assigned to you. Also, we're going to go over some different types of stories that you may be um, using either in the yearbook or on the Stitch program. Um, and all, the last thing is um, the we're going to talk about what an angle is, how you can identify when and narrow down your topic. So first of all, um, some guidelines that I want you to keep in mind. The biggest thing, names. We need names terribly. Um, I can't stress this enough. When you're taking pictures of an event, find out who's in your picture. If you don't know, you need to go up and ask them. Um, and people will be more than happy to tell you who they are, especially if you approach them with uh, this type of um, introduction. Hello, my name is Mrs. Rawls. I'm taking pictures for the yearbook, and we may feature this picture in the yearbook or either on the online yearbook. Could I have your name, please? They'll be more than happy to give you their name. Um, also, if you're not familiar with the sport, and enough to be able to describe what's going on, let's say you found a really good picture, and you're not, you're not really sure what you would put as far as the caption, you might want to interview someone to explain what it is that is going on. So in other words, just review your pictures and think, okay, I like this picture, I want to use it, but how, I'm gonna, how am I going to capture this? What are they doing? Um, so asking someone, you know, hey, what is it exactly, how would you describe what you're doing in this picture? Whether it's a wrestling picture and they're pinning someone on that or something called um, whizzing, putting them in a wizard or something. A okay, wizard, that's a, re a wrestling move. I had no idea that that was what it was called until I asked somebody. So using that terminology will make your captions a lot more interesting to those people who are in those pictures. Um, the other thing you need to think about if you're going to a sporting event or any kind of concert or something, you need to find out who's in charge, either the coach or whoever's running the show, and tell them, say, look, I'm here with the yearbook, I'm covering this event, where is it that I can go, where can I be to get good pictures, where do I not need to be? Um, and it just, it, it helps kind of clear any confusion, and um, more than likely they'll probably let you get up really close and get good pictures rather than just kind of walking in and not talking to anybody. You might have to kind of sit on the side. So it's really important to uh, to contact whoever it is that's in charge. And I can always help you with that if you don't know who, who it is to talk to. All right, so those are just some guidelines I want you to keep in mind uh, whenever you are taking pictures. So both of you will be photographing. If you look at your agenda for this week, um, the last thing of this week, Friday during homeroom, you're going to be taking pictures of the U.S. Army um, TRADOC, which is Training and Doctrine Command. Their band will be performing, and you're going to be taking pictures. So I'll find out who it is that you need to talk to, which will probably be Mr. Parton, and um, you'll come and see me early that day. Um, anyway, back to your reporting guidelines. Um, types of stories. Now, there's three types of stories I'm going to talk about. You have feature personal and sports and they're pretty easy to know which one is which. Your characteristics of a feature story, these types of stories focus on an event of some kind. So maybe it's the Shack Festival or the prom or it would be the Army's band coming in and playing. Those types of things that don't really focus on any one particular person, um, those are feature stories. Some, some kind of event. Um, you may have more than one person that you quote within that story, so you're getting different responses. In fact, it's best to have more than one person that you can quote. Kind of interview at least three or four people is the general rule of thumb, asking them some questions about it. So you kind of have to have some idea of ideas of questions before you get to the event, um, or even thinking, at, thinking of questions as you're there watching it, that, so that you can ask people um, your interview questions and have some material for when you actually make your story or your spread. So those are your, those are your, that's the characteristics of your feature story. <clears throat> the personal story is on a, uh, focused on a person. Um, usually there's only one person that you quote unless you happen to interview other people about that person, but most of the time your personal stories are about some kind of, um, usually you pick someone who's been through some kind of event that's really um, inspiring or um, I wouldn't, it's bad to say traumatic, but sometimes that's the case as well. Stuff that would be interesting to your readers. Um, and then the last type of story is the sports story. That's pretty self-explanatory. Focuses on a sports event. The people that you're going to interview, your interview sources, they're going to range from the key players of the game, but also the people who don't get to play. Don't really want to call them the bench warmers, so we'll say the second string players. 
uh, fans, coaches, etc. Anybody who was at the event that, if you said, especially if you see somebody that's really into the what's going on and you think they have a good um, point of view on what's on what's happened, whatever is it, whether it's a uh, awesome win or just um, look like they enjoy they're enjoying themselves, you might want to interview those those people. So you've got, those are your three types of stories that we're going to be talking about throughout the semester. You've got your feature story, personal story, and your sports story. Now, as far as angles, <clears throat> angles, um, if you remember from the vocabulary from your previous lesson and for the intro to, to copy, um, your angle is when you narrow down the topic by taking a specific angle on the story. Um, some examples may be, let's say you want to do something on fashion. Well, fashion is such a huge monster in and of itself, you need to narrow that down. So, you've got an example of, instead of saying just doing fashion, you could do buying trendy clothes on a tight budget. And then find people in the school that do actually dress a little trendy as much as they can with a uniform policy. And finding out what kind of budget they're 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 using, where they shop, and all this kind of stuff. Um, you got two more examples: a fall play. Fall play. There's there's a lot of stuff that you could focus on, but specifically here, you've got an example of developing the sets and costumes for the production. So you're focusing more on the behind the scenes of of actually getting the the play produced. Um, and then the last one, back to school, that again is a huge monster in and of itself. Students' responses to the new lunch schedule would be more specific. So you want to, especially for something like yearbook or really any journalistic article, any article you're going to want to focus down on a specific topic because that's going to let you know what kind of questions you need to come up with and what information you need to seek for when you go to interview your sources. Now, if you look at your agenda, there is an assignment um, atta or associated with angles. I'll go there really quickly so you can see exactly where to go. So I'm looking here at your agenda. You should have already um, viewed the intro to copy. This is where we're at today, recording guidelines and types of stories and angles. Click here for the completed to complete the associated assignment. So if you click there, it'll take you to this document here. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do, make sure you go to File. You're going to want to make a copy, and that's going to open it up in a new tab, okay? When you do that, when you open up your new copy, if you click on Move to Folder, it'll allow you to find, like, to, um, right now it's, in, in, it's currently in my copy folder, but if you put Move to Folder, it'll, it'll allow you to choose the one that you made for my class and that you shared with me, and you can move it to there. That way I can go ahead and see it, see it and grade it. All right, so... The way, what this assignment is, um, basically you have some very broad topics here on the left, and then you come up with um, a few angles here on the right. So I've got a couple examples, course, concerts, the amount of practice it takes. Um, so then you come up with it, let's say, do at least four angles. Uh, if you can come up with five, that's great, but come up with at least four angles for each of these topics. Honor society, what are the qualifications of honor societies? So again, come up with more inf more um, topics there. And vocational classes, uh, baseball is kind of self-explanatory, but vocational classes, that's talking about things like welding, um, automotive, those things that actually prepare you for the workforce. That's what vocational means, the workforce type thing. After you brainstorm these angles, what you need to do is, in this column, you'll look at this, you'll look at this, um, this row here, and then for course concerts, which angle is the best to tell me why? And you'll do that for each one of these. So again, make sure you go up to your file. You'll make a copy. Then you'll, after it opens up in a new tab, you're going to move to a folder. And it's going to be in the folder that you made uh, for this class and shared with me. And again, if you have any questions, please you know, just let me know. Um, and that should be all for today. Um, tomorrow, let's look at your agenda. You've got... Uh, sources and leads, and I'll go over those assignments in that video as well. Um, don't forget, you've got a note up here at the top to take notes on the videos for this week, or you could actually just review the videos a couple times, because you will have a quiz Friday um, on some of this information, because this, this is stuff that you're going to be using throughout the rest of the semester, these guidelines and these, this terminology that you hear. Um, and that should be it for today.